So, Freight, Domination, if you don't know the Domination rules by now, where have you been? You must have been living under a rock. It really is that simple. But of course, in competitive Domination, we will switch sides at the half. And Canal Esports have a 79% win rate on Domination Freight. And it is worth mentioning as well, I feel Freight being so fast-paced really does suit Denial's playstyle a little bit more. You know, Sturdy, Saints, Zuma really pushing, getting in your face. Replay is able to really push around the outside, trying to influence the spawns in favor of Denial. And I think Optic might struggle in this map, I'm going to be completely honest with you, especially after what happened in that strike zone in the very first map. The Zuma just dropped the 40 bomb out of nowhere. It was crazy. Starting things off with Clayster here. Uh, he was really kind of the weak player on that strike zone domination game number one. I want to see if he gets off uh, to a solid start here. It looks like it. First blood goes to him as he takes out Study. And there are three members of Optic on that B flag. They will capture B in our first 25 seconds. And Denial, that is not how they wanted to open up this yeah, great game. That was quick, but more importantly, I th think that was actually uh, Scumpy who was put, in fact, sorry, my mistake, it was Proofy who had pushed all the way through. And he was essentially in Denial's spawn immediately, just causing them some issues. And that was fundamentally why Denial couldn't jump on that B flag. But Clayster, again, being very aggressive. And I like this from Optic Gaming, meeting Denial's well known aggression with aggression of their own. It, it's working. Skump gets the call that he lost his teammates, has to push back to B, but here comes the Swarm. Denial pushing out, Proofy is going to stop one. Saints and Zuma, though, clear house, and right away, Denial gets B back. This one is going to be a slugfest. Right now, looks like Denial is going to have the upper hand. Yeah, Zuma just trying to see if he can pick up any more kills, but Nature peeks up. He actually gets two that, Zuma and replays. Three plays are down, so Saints needs to go big on this B flag. Optic Gaming have jumped on it, and he's basically on Optic Gaming side of the... Oh, I thought he was going to oh, place there. He was in a great position, though, on Optic Gaming side of the of the map, really causing him to try and hunt him down before they could jump on B. And because of that, Denal still have control of that B fight. And don't forget about this, man. Zuma already 6-3. and three. He dropped over 40 kills on Strike Zone, and now he is on pace to set up Denial for the three cap. He's got two players coming through, picks up one, second one, looking to challenge his teammates all over the kill feed. Three down for Optic, last man standing was Clay. Clay's not going to get anywhere near that A flag before Zuma caps it. Yeah, Clay was actually on that B flag. He actually tried to capture that as well, which was very, very ambitious. There's no way Denial are going to give that away. They have that trip cap well in effect. Study doing some work on that A flag. Now Replays just needs to try and defend it, but Optic Gaming are going to be spawning on this side of the map. So Replays with a lot of work to do, he's actually going to run out of ammo there as he tried to reload. Zuma though pushing and once again being aggressive and this is pretty much deja vu from what we saw in that first map. Oh, the Saints Strike thought he had him dead to rights, but instead it's Clayster picking up the kill. Study connects with a grenade, and now he's looking to get it done with the Vector. Before we can get there, Zuma has recaptured A with him, and it looks like we are going to see... Oh, that's a big stop actually from Proof stopping the capture. Uh, B flag really has just been all denial after Optic's first grab in the first 25 seconds. And I'm wondering, Ben, I mean, you can barely get A back. How do you start thinking about getting a second flag and getting back into this one? You're down 30 points. <laughs> it's very, very tough, that's for sure, because you need to slay out your own base, first of all. And that's something which Denial just aren't allowing them. Pretty surprised to see Noah from Optic try and push that C flag earlier. Now we do see Clay push it, but, you know, try and go underground. You know, do something a little bit different. Flip the spawns, do whatever you possibly can, because when Denial are in your face so much, it does become very, very difficult. Now with a minute 46, we see Optic Gaming on both B Ooh. and C flag. They're not going to get B, but they do grab C. All right, so B was neutralized. So they, they stopped the bleeding a little bit, but they are just covered in blood right now. <laughs> Optic Gaming, 90 seconds left in our first five-minute half. And we're going to see Scumpy open things up 4 and 13, really just getting spawn slayed. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and that's really the difference because Scumpy is supposed to cancel out uh, the Slayers here from this Denial squad. Right. Zuma, 13 and 6. You got Study, 10 and 9, 11 and 7 from Saints. Everyone positive at this point in the game for Denial Esports. Yeah, they're having a fantastic first side hit as 45, oh sorry, 44 point lead comes in with a minute left still to play. That is a crazy, crazy lead to have. And I don't know if you moments. saw this, but I really liked what Saints did earlier while his teammates were putting pressure on C and B. He dropped all the way back and was just the lone man watching the A flag. The yeah, he's controlling the spawns Playing well. this very heads up. Uh, controlling the spawns for their squad. Denial finally going to lose this A flag as a late rally from Optic Gaming. But I feel like the damage has been done 
Almost 50 points separates these two teams. We come down to our last 30 seconds. Optic trying to break it back down to 30. Yep, but it's going to be pretty tough. B-Flex still neutral. They are losing C. Optic should be able to hop on B. They will get it, but with 20 seconds left in the first side, the deficit isn't going to be reduced that much. I mean, it's at 40 right now, 95 to 56. Denial, I mean, they're just on form right now. Again, Zuma and Domination playing pretty well. 15, make that 16 kills now in the first side. Drop 40 in that first domination. Can he try and do it again? Internet, is it fair to say Zuma's a top 10 player? Because I have Ooh. him in my top 10. He is looking incredible. 16 and 10 with four wow. captures to start things here for Denial. You see that in that kill cam? Replays just picking up that last kill of the round. Proofy. Yeah, the OBJ man dropping 14 10. Yeah, I just want to point out Proofy though, 18 and 12. He's doing everything he possibly can right now for Optic Gaming to try and bring them back into this domination. But it's, he can't do it by himself. He needs help from his team. He needs other players like Scump to be putting up those numbers. And I feel in, in a map like this, Optic Gaming need both Proof and Scump to be going off. They can't just have one. They need both if they're going to have any chance of being denied. Proofy trying to work his way on that B flag. Won't be able to. Clayster waiting for some port in the middle. Now he's got an eight shot watching his flank on that right side. Big kill there from Clay. Now he can regain some control of this red side. Pushing into the middle. Gets one. Going to find two. Clay picks up three straight kills. This is a B flag now for Optic Gaming. And it looks like everyone actually no. out of position to help. Scumpy on the far right. Pushing up slowly. Uh, Nade shot and Proofy were just dropped. So despite Clay's big play, Optic doesn't get any points off of it. Yeah, as you said, Pucket, they were just out of position there. Clayston really did all that work by himself, and they weren't able to jump on that B flag. You see Optic try and do it now, but a couple of plays go down. Realistically, Scump and Nature need to try and stay alive. Nature dodging bullets like Neo the Matrix there, but he has managed to just stay alive. Be still neutral, but you have to remember, at this time, this is beneficial for Denial. They don't need that oh, B flag. Yeah. They have such a big lead right now. Let it be neutral. It doesn't matter to them. It's Optic that need to make that play. They need to push into that Denial's base and essentially do what Denial did to them in that first side. Replays has had the high hand at the start of this one. He's opened up 14 and 10 on the second round. Now 20 and 12. And he is keeping Optic trapped outside of this red. And uh, really, he is finally going to be cleaned up, but he was really doing a great job of controlling Optic's push. Now you're going to see Study doing the damage from top white catwalk. Is going to pick up to a third challenger. We'll clean him up. We go back over to Clayster, who's on this B-Flag Scump in support. This is big, but not going to be able to get it. Clayster goes down. Made shot on this left-hand side. Red Train picks up one with the second and bottom through, but not going to be able to clean him up either. So. Optic, you know, they're doing everything theoretically correct on paper. They're pushing up, but they're just not capping that B flag. And big play coming out from Zuma there with the two pieces. Constant two pieces, it seems. You saw uh, earlier, Clayster and Scump had B flag about 75%. A two piece came in there. Yep. Here's Saints again. Another two piece on this left side. When you don't have numbers in the middle of the map, it is nearly impossible to take B. And we're going to see the constant pressure here from Denial. They just swarm you. They overwhelm you in domination. It doesn't matter what map it is. Here on Freight, they are really looking strong, which is scary to think of what could happen in game five. Yeah, it really is. I think it's fair to say now Denial have that B flag. This is pretty much the map over. I can't see Denial throwing this away. Such a, a well scripted team when it comes to domination more than anything else. But that game five, s and it, it is Warhawk again. So, could we potentially see Zuma pull out that sniper rifle in game five? If you remember what he did at the X Games? Oh, yeah. With that sniper rifle on Warhawk? That was really when a lot of people sort of came out and was like, oh, wow. He's really, really talented. Yeah, that Anaheim uh, tournament there. And guys, if you're at home right now, Call your friends, wake them up, tell them to turn on LG.TV. We are going to have one of the best finals of the evening here for a round one match. Game number five, Warhawk, is coming up. We have about 98 seconds still to go, though, and we got to see who is going to finish on top as they pad their stats. Is it Replays? Is it Zuma? Or is it Saints? Saints behind both players by seven kills. Yeah, you got to give Replays some love. He isn't statistically, you know, when we see all the players' stats, He's never really up there for KD because he tends to be doing all the other roles. But, you know, a fantastic performance from him in this game. 28 and 18. And Zuma with 30 kills. It, it seems like every time you see Zuma play domination, he's always up there for most amount of kills. And you can see the, the, the tweets really never changed. Optic 
84% to just 16% for denial. Optic fans really making some noise on Twitter. And we'll see, can Optic finish strong? Zuma holding down this B flag, has dropped the 30 bomb. He's at 31 and 20 with four captures on this game. Replays looking for his 30, but Zuma is getting all the kills. <laughs> Everyone's spawning over at red, and he is dealing with it on the opposite side. Despite their team really getting blown out, Proofy had a pretty solid game, dropping to 30 of his own. Yeah, that is that 30th kill that you speak of. Replays, he's actually going to choke the 30 bomb. No. Nah. I think he is. Nah. I think he is. I don't think he's going to get it. He's, he's got a Semtex. He spawned out in no man's land. He has 20 seconds. There's an assist. He has to get two kills. There's one. One more kill. Go on, replays. You can do it. Can I do believe. It. Feel it. Here it is. Got it. Nope. No. Stolen. 10 seconds. There it yeah, is. Yeah, All right. Nicely played by replays. Saints caught up, man. All right. So here we go. Final five seconds, and your official score at the end of game number four is going to be 184, 114. We're headed to the tiebreaker. A final search and destroy will decide who moves on in our winner's bracket to face off against Noble and who is going to be duking it out in the loser's bracket tomorrow. It's